We can say goodbye to the new construction site here in the LEGO City as today we're going to be building a LEGO hospital that's going to take that spot. Hey what's up guys welcome back it's Jordan here today we're going to be building a hospital modular building. Boy do I regret not getting more of these while they were available from the LEGO group as they are now a retired set and I was lucky enough to find one of them at Walmart. This is official LEGO set 60204, it's the LEGO City Hospital and you can see it built right here. So I'm going to be using the design elements from this set to create a hospital modular building and I'm going to make it larger by using various bricks that I have in my collection. You can see I have some some red bricks there and also some white bricks and some white plates and red plates and whatnot. And I also right over here have a bunch of windows uh, the trans blue windows and window frames. Now these actually came from a uh, Lego police station set. That's why they have that white bar on them like that. I think it's going to look good in a hospital too though. The issue is, is I only got one of these sets. So I don't have enough of these uh, six by six uh, trans light blue panels that you can see the windows are made of. So I'm going to try and substitute the majority of those with these uh, white window frames, which I think will look good. I think the combination of them will look good. So we're going to try and stick with the overall building technique that they use in this set. Um, it's going to have the ambulance pull up spot there. And then we're going to take all the interior details from this set and all the stickered elements as well and integrate them into the interior details of my Lego modular hospital building. It looks pretty great. Uh, what I really like about this set is it comes with the ambulance too. This is an awesome Lego City vehicle. It blends in perfectly with a Lego City and I love it. It's probably one of my favorite Lego City scale vehicles ever, I would say. And right in beside that too, there's also a helicopter and helicopter pad. However, the building itself doesn't accommodate a helicopter pad at this point as the roof is really small. So. I'm going to start doing this and then I'll touch base in a bit and show you what I am up to. Just finished the first floor of the hospital modular building. The first thing I did was the tiling on the exterior of the building and I made it match the tiling on the modular buildings. I used lots of the parts and pieces obviously from that hospital set including the slide door function which is really nice. I really like that build. Also the sticker element um, found on the front of the pillar there as well. And I added a ton of pieces from my own collection here. Uh, you can see the white panels on the back there. Also some of those four by six glass panels with the trans blue doors in them there. And some of the um, clear glass panels there as well. You can see what I'm really focusing on on the first floor is actually creating a nice garage for the ambulance that comes with the set. I think it looks a lot better there. I've actually changed the tile on the exterior there. Use some dark bluish gray tiles uh, just to show that that is a driveway for that ambulance and we've added a rolling door. That's an addition uh, to the set. It did not have the rolling door for the ambulance prior to the modifications. You can see some red bricks here. I did run out of white bricks so I'm trying to conserve my white bricks. So I did add uh, a splash of red or a stripe of red both on the bottom and the top of the 4x6 window panels or uh, white panels. Now on the floor I decided to tile and I actually added a subfloor using uh, various colors of plates. So it is one plate off the ground and then I covered those plates with uh, those um, tan 2x2 two two tiles uh, in which I was actually lucky enough to find on the pick a brick wall. But yeah that's the first floor. Now we're going to go ahead and construct the second floor. So after one build session and using the parts from the Lego City Hospital set and also some parts from my own inventory, I was able to turn the hospital into a pretty nice building that sits on a Lego standard 32 by 32 base plate and it is somewhat of a modular size. It is only two floors. I would like to make it bigger but I just don't have the parts and pieces to do that right now. Eventually I could probably add two more floors making it a four story building. With its size now though, we can fit the helicopter and helicopter pad on the roof of the building, which is quite nice. 
I've stuck with some of the similar uh, building concepts that were found in the LEGO City set, like the color and also the hospital uh, sort of red beam going up here where you have the three sticker elements. I really like the look of that. Also the slide door uh, concept, I stayed with that as well. I did make some additions to uh, the set as well because we added this parking spot for the ambulance there. It does have a roller garage door that will come down. Uh, it's just on the standard garage door roller just like that. And of course we've kept the ambulance sticker piece there and then the little light uh, just over top of the ambulance entrance as well. It's got a little roof over top of that garage. We've got four of the blue six by six window panels there. And then we have six of the blue six by six window panels on this side here. I've made it a corner building, so it's going to sit on a corner lot, which is nice. I like how it has uh, visibility on all sides. The side walls are just solid. Um, I built those using some red bricks, some white bricks, and also some uh, white panels. And that's the same for this side here. This side, when we place it in the LEGO City, which we're going to be doing in this video, will be pressed up against the Ghostbusters HQ, and the other side will be pressed up against the mini modular buildings. There are details in the interior of this building, so we may as well have a look at the interior details right now. After removing the roof, we can see into the second floor of the hospital where there's lots of details, all of which were taken from the LEGO City Hospital set. No, there is no staircase just don't really find staircases necessary to add just because I rarely open up my buildings to play with them inside. So I just want them to be visually appealing from the outside with some interior details. Right over here we have the eye exam spot or test. There's a little computer there in the corner where you can see the doctor standing beside the skeleton and another doctor right over here. This is a really neat light brick apparatus from the hospital set. You push on this little brick right here and it shines onto the wall. You can see that's someone's stomach and it actually has a cherry in the belly. There are two other uh, frames that you can change that with. Those are right here. So one is a skeleton and one is a wrist, which is quite funny because it's actually a Lego hand. So it's really cool the way that light brick works and it's it's absolutely fantastic i love it standing or right beside that doctor there there is a little microscope as well with a uh, set of drawers and right here is a patient's bed it's got the large light over top sort of like those dentist lights i believe that's what that represents a nice sticker piece there on the wall with the fish and also the heart monitor right in beside that there is a, a spot where you can put your baby know the exact medical term but there's a baby bed there and then uh, a little apparatus here with a bunch of different tools for doctors me i'm not a doctor i don't know the physical names of all of these things inside this thing but i do like them in a lego and i like how they look inside the lego hospital on the base floor here we have the area where the ambulance can drive up and unload its patient there are a set of double doors there with some trans window pieces just above. There's a little seating area there. I did tile the entire floor, like I said earlier, and I also added a subfloor to raise it up one plate. Right over here, there's a small concession stand with an employee work in there. I like how the concession stand has the Lego News print piece and also a Lego City print piece as well, along with a couple, what, cupcakes and some water there. Not too bad. The sliding door apparatus is absolutely incredible. That's one thing that I really took away from the Lego City Hospital set is how to build the sliding door apparatus. You can see it's just right there and it'll slide open and slide closed. So I really do like that. And yeah, that's really about it for the build itself. Let's put it back together and then we're gonna place it in the city of Brickminton and check it out. So it's really exciting because uh, the city of Brickminton definitely needed a hospital. It was one of the buildings that was missing uh, for so long. Like it does have a fire station, which is the modular building, the fire brigade. And it also has a police station, in which is a custom mock of my own creation as well. And that's right at the end of the street right here. And now it has a hospital. And that's right here. 
So I placed it right beside the mini modular buildings because it's the same size. At this point, it is the same size as the mini modular buildings. It only has two floors, but I do want to grow it and I do want to make it four floors or more. I don't know. Who knows how big it can go. I just need to get more of those six by six glass panels in the trans blue color. I know I did say that I was going to use some of those other alternatives, but I just don't think it looked very good. I want to I want to keep it consistent. I don't want to look like a hodgepodge of pieces. And I think this looks pretty good for now. So we placed it beside the mini modular buildings and in between the Ghostbusters HQ. And of course, when it's beside the Ghostbusters HQ, it's got this little alleyway here where you can see all the characters from Ghostbusters. I'm not sure how I feel about this open nook here. I could definitely use that to expand the second floor and maybe add a staircase when I go ahead and revise this building in the future. But I'm really happy with the progress we made on it today and I think it looks substantially better than the LEGO City set. Not that I didn't like the LEGO City set, I think it's one of the best LEGO City sets that I've ever bought to tell you the truth. Um, and it has some great building techniques and it has a lot of great minifigures and mini builds for the interior of the hospital and I liked to uh, I liked it a lot and I really liked using everything it from it all the parts and pieces and building techniques to build sort of a mini modular that fits better in the Lego City. The problem with Lego City sets is they don't really integrate seamlessly with other modular buildings but I think the changes that I've done have really made it blend in nicely here in the Lego City. Although I think it could get bigger in the near future, which it most likely will. So that's really about it for today. Lots more exciting stuff coming out in the very near future. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Remember to hit the big thumbs up there. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and we'll see you again in the not so distant future. Thanks for watching. Bye for now and have yourself a great day. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. Thank you so much, it's highly appreciated. And make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my LEGO sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot, stay tuned, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.